Today, CCOD Agent Application. To log on to the Agent Application, please use Google Chrome and not Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. Open up Google Chrome. In the Google Chrome search bar, type in the URL received from Elation, or you could have copy and paste it as well. I'm currently going to type it in, iccid.co.za forward question mark elation. There's the enter button and the landing page. Enter your user ID followed by your password. Click on login and you will land at the home page of the agent dashboard. An overview of the agent dashboard. At the home page, immediately, very important, you can see that your status is connected. If for any reason you have lost connectivity or there's a bad connection, Connectivity will then change to not connected and it will be read. You have to then log out and log in again to stay connected. If not connected, application will not work. Then I have my agent ID, my extension number, what group do I belong to, what agent type am I, my skill set. Currently, I'm set at 100% for the contact center. The performance statistics is once I've logged in, it starts counting for the period that you've logged in. Also in here, I can see if there's any calls waiting in the queue that I am assigned to. Then if I go over to the telephone page on the left hand side, I can make phone call. The top bar remains whether I am the home page or on the phone page. At the top, there's my status. Currently, I am not ready for 3 minutes and 42 seconds and counting. You will see when I'm over here, I've got an arrow. As soon as I move my cursor across, the little hand pops up. When I click on that area, the drop-down menu is appearing. From here, I can change my status these are customizable per client. Whatever you want here, we can put in here. The most important part is the ready status. I must be in ready to be able to receive a phone call. If I, for some reason, go not ready, I can either go lunch. Automatically now, my calls will be blocked. No calls will come through to me. Even in my telephone stage, that bar remain. When I come back from lunch, I'm ready to take phone calls again. I go ready and I am ready to answer incoming calls. Well, ready for an incoming call. will come through. The answer button. The call control area. To hold the call, I click the hold button. The client is now listening to music. I can have a conversation without the client overhearing me. To retrieve or to go back to the client, press the unhold button and I'm back talking to the customer. Mute button, if I press mute, the customer is hearing silence. You might think that he is disconnected. So please warn the customer or be aware of it that there's definitely silence when you mute. Unmute, click the same button again and the person can hear me.
The red button here it indicates that the calls are being recorded. The dial button I'm coming back to. Through a conference, attend a transfer and transfer will be handled individually a bit later in the video. And then I have end the conversation and the call is finished. To make an outgoing call, I move my cursor over to the blank area over there. I can key in the telephone number that I want to dial. Or I can key on the keypad and use this keypad to dial the number which I want to dial. Once the number is appearing, click on the green phone. Phone call is made. You've got your call controls again. To end the conversation is end. The call history on the agent page, I can see if I post an inbound call or an outbound call. If I want to, I can click on the telephone, then click on the green phone make an outgoing call. If I want to transfer a call, there are two ways of doing a transfer. It's an attended transfer or a transfer. Transfer call, I do not have control of the end of the conversation. When I press the transfer button, I have three options of where I can transfer the call to. I could transfer to an agent. I could transfer to another phone number, the back office, for example, or I can transfer to an IVR. When I click on the IVR, that could be another internal queue that I transfer the call to. For example, I can transfer it back into the contact center queue or, for example, the reception queue. Once I hit that number, I go over and I click on the transfer button. The call is gone. I no longer have control of that call. The call is transferred to that IVR. When connected to a caller and I want to do an attended transfer, in other words, I am in control of the end result. I click the attended transfer button. I've got two tabs that I can choose from, phone, if I want to transfer to an outside number or internal back office number. But if I select the agents tab, it will tell me if there's any agents available. Currently, Johan is available, so I select Johan's name, click on the phone icon, wait for Johan to answer the call. Once he has answered the call, I can then announce the call and tell Johan what is the reason for this call, why am I transferring this call to him. To complete the transfer, I click on the green transfer arrow again. Once selected, I don't have the call anymore. Johan has got the call. I can click on the Agents tab. It will tell me if there are any agents available to take this phone call. If there's no agents available and I want to get back to my caller, I can just press the Annal button and I'm back talking to my caller. In the attended transfer position, once I've selected attended transfer, select agents for Johan. I dial Johan, click on the dial button, I'm busy talking to you one, but I actually don't want to transfer the call. I can drop the connection with Johan, take my original caller back from unhold, and I'm busy talking to this person. I'm going to a three-way conference. I click on the three-way call. Key in the number of the person I want to bring into the conversation. Click on the green telephone bar. Wait for this person to answer. 
Once this person is answered, I can announce that we are going into a three-way call. The moment that I press the merge call, you can see we change from in progress to in progress. All three of us are talking to each other. If I now want to end this conversation, I can hit the end button, or I could have ended the last conversation and retrieve the original person back on the call. It does not matter whether I received the phone call, made the phone call. As soon as I have finished with the conversation and I end the call, I automatically go into a wrap-up state. This wrap-up state depends from client to client and situation to situation. I can then, while I am in this status, allows me to select a disposition code for why was this call being made or what was the inbound call about. I have to select something, save it, and once I've done that, I automatically go back into the ready state. Even if I've answered an incoming call and I now finish the conversation, the disposition codes would change because this is an inbound call, but I still have to choose a reason for this inbound call, save, and automatically I will go back into the ready status. Once you've logged in, I can create a bookmark for this URL. To do that, I click on the bookmark arrow, give it a name, which folder do I want it, and I click done. But the URL that is saved is like that, which is incorrect. Go back to where I've created it, right-click and edit the bookmark, and make sure that you take backspace to the home, you put in the question mark, and your client or customer name. Save that. If I now click on that, it will open up the URL at the proper page. To log out at the end of the day, I click on the log out button. It's asking me, are you sure you want to log out? And I say confirm. Logged out. Can come back in. And you've logged out. Brings you back to a log on page if you want to re-log in. <laughs>